Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is business50mistakes.com. It's my website that talks about or that I cyber coach restaurants and really any business can get advice on there. It's all free. Um, 50mistakes.com. F I F T Y or 50mistakes.com. So I'm going to talk about all cash restaurants. There's certain restaurants that just accept only cash, right? That's it. Cash only. They put an ATM out there and, you know, and They'll expect all cash. Now here is my, here's my critique of that. Here's my issues with that. Here's my problems with that. Now first off, cash is great, okay? And every business owner dreams of getting all cash, right? That's the, that, that, that would be the ideal situation, right? But why do business owners want cash to begin with? You know, are they skimming the books? Are they, are they not being 100% legit? You know, do you ever see any chains that would take all cash and like skim stuff like that? Chains really don't do that because chains are, are set up to, to be, have proper procedures. Now, is he on the accounting side? Are they doing something that's totally different? I'm talking about like, like, like saying, okay, sales tonight were ten thousand dollars, and we're only going to report nine thousand dollars on the nightly on the nightly thing. The manager doing that. That typically doesn't happen, okay? In an independent restaurant, that can happen constantly, and the more cash they have, the more that they can do that. So, but besides that, because that's the unethical part of business. Besides that, I don't, I don't, I don't want to focus on on the ethics. Um, Personally, I'd love to do an all credit card business, right? Because if I had all credit cards, my staff wouldn't have to count the drawer. I wouldn't have to worry about my staff stealing anything or miscounting or giving back improper change, right? That'd be that'd be the ideal situation for a restaurant owner for me. It's not all cash; it's all credit card. I don't want to have to worry about cash, right? So, all credit card would be ideal. But now, here's the big issue: we're in the consumer business. We're in the customer service business hospitality business. It's all about the guest. Who cares how the guest wants to pay? Who cares if they want to use cash, a credit card? It shouldn't matter. You should make it as easy as possible. As a restaurant owner, you need to make it as easy as possible for your guest to pay you. That's the bottom line. Now, I understand some places don't accept checks. I typically don't accept checks. I know people that come here that I will take their checks. Um, but realistically, you have to price your food to 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 say, okay, I need eighteen fifty for this because I know I might be paying two to three or four percent in credit card fees. That's just the bottom line. You have to be able to price your food to include all of your expenses. You know, and to give a discount for people that pay cash and this is that. You know, just why play games with people? Don't play games. Just cash, credit card. Put your menu price together. Don't make it hard for a guest to do that. Now, I, I don't carry cash around at all. Okay. For me, everything's a business expense. I use my credit card. That's the bottom line. I use my credit card. I'm not going to go to I'm not going to go to a restaurant where I have to go into the lobby or outside to use the ATM to, to pay. I'm not going to. It's a business expense for me. I want an itemized receipt. I want to put it on a credit card. I don't have to worry about that. That's the bottom line. So, and a lot of people are like that. There's a lot of business people out there. A lot of people entertaining. Um, a lot of pharmaceutical sales reps out there that they need itemized receipts, they need to put it on a credit card, they don't want to, they don't, they don't want to do that. You're missing out on a big part of business, I feel. And people know that, oh, that's an only cash restaurant. You know, they're going to say, well, I wouldn't go there, I wouldn't go there. Because it might make a difference to them because a lot of people just don't carry cash. We're in a world of plastic. Everything's electronic transfers, everything's now, everything's real time, it's all that. And there's really not much need for, to carry cash around. So. You have to think you've got to make it as easy as possible. It can't be what's easiest for you as a business owner. And believe me, cash is very attractive. Cash is extremely attractive as business owners because, you know, once you start paying staff in cash, you don't have to pay, you don't have to pay their taxes. Um, you know, you can start paying vendors in cash. You don't have to report expenses. You, I mean, you don't have to report sales. And, and when, when I see a business that's doing all cash, I start wondering, well, what in the world is really going on? So your image is important. And I think of these restaurants is like, man, what, what are they doing that's unethical? What, what, what are they doing that, that, that isn't right? Why do they want all cash? Because we're all not stupid. All cash means you don't, you, you, you don't claim everything. That's what that means. And I can't stand when employees come to my restaurant and they're like, new employees, like, ah, can you pay me cash? I'm sorry, I can't pay you cash. I can't. I don't take cash. I get a paycheck. I, 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 do, I, use my, I, I have expenses. I, 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 I'm legitimate. I don't pay my staff in cash. You know, well, I threw you 25 bucks because it was a busy night and it was a holiday or something cash. Yeah, that's something different. 
But as far as your regular pay, you're on the books. You pay taxes. I match your taxes. That's the bottom line. We're legitimate here, you know? So I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Think about it before you go all cash. Think about putting that ATM machine. Really think about the image you're putting out there. Think about how people are going to view your restaurant. And uh, think about all the business that you could be losing. And you've got to put your menu prices in line so you can, you can, you can swallow that three, four, five, whatever percent you're paying on credit cards, so you can swallow that fee. Just price it in there. Make it easier. P people don't want it. People don't want to be nickel and dime. You know, as a restaurant owner, just tell me, tell me how much it is to deliver the case of the case of apples. Don't put a delivery fee on top of it. Don't put this fee. Don't put hidden fees. Don't put environmental fees. Just tell me, so I know. Don't. It's like don't nickel and dime people. Just tell me what it is, and I'm happy to pay it. But when I see the invoice and I see all these add-ons, it makes me think, man, oh man, it's still the same price as if they were to raise it, but it's totally a different mindset. So. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel. Go to 50mistakes.com. Um, get updates on that blog. I put videos up there once a week. And uh, info at uh, 50mistakes.com if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.